point. Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom. We welcome you to Seventh Day Harvest Teaching Ministries, where the Ruach of Yahuwah is. We are excited for today. Um, the Most High has some special things planned for us on today. A, a special rhema word that is going to come straight from Shamayim, which is heaven. We are excited today uh, to have our special guest, our brother, our uh, moray, our Arki, none other than Arki, Eric Riddick. We're glad to have him. Did I say that right? Hallelujah. We're glad to have him on today. We're excited. Amen. We know that the Most High has a word for us on today. We welcome you. You too. We welcome you. Um, we welcome you to our uh, service. We welcome you Facebook. We uh, ask that you will call a friend, call a neighbor, tell someone that Seventh Day Harvest is on the air. We have a special title uh, 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 for you uh, that we're going to start doing from now on. It's called the Set Apart Hour. The Seven Day Harvest Set Apart Hour. We're excited about it on today and we know that you're excited because you tuned in to listen and we're excited about that. So therefore, without any further ado, we're going to open up with a word of prayer. And from the word of prayer that we open up with, we're going to uh, ask the uh, prophetess uh, Ezekiel Douglas, if she would, which is Lady Douglas, to come and give us the scripture for today as we open up. Amen. We are so glad that you tuned in. Uh, we know that there are some that are on the way here, and um, we're, we're praying that their safe travels be safely, that they get here safely. We'd like to send a special shout out to Kingdom Harvest Ministries in Charlotte, by the way, of Toledo, Ohio. We'd like to send a special shout out to uh, Brother Ron Dalton Jr. in Detroit, who will be here on next week, along with Benea Israel from out of Atlanta. We'd like to say hello, Shabbat Shalom to you, and uh, to all of our Miss Parker, our family that is out there listening on today. This is not a new religion. Uh, this is not a religion at all. This is culture. Yeah. This is culture. This is our true heritage in which uh, we are practicing. So therefore, we're putting the names back in its rightful place that were taken out centuries ago. But we're excited at the same time. We're going to ask uh, Elder Wiggins, if you would, to come and uh, uh, render, us, uh, render us in, in, in prayer. And uh, as he comes, uh, uh, we ask that you would uh, bow your heads and, and uh, let us Shabbat him together. Shabbat Shalom, Elder. The most high Yahuwah, our creator, our sustainer, the one who rules over all, is faithful over all, the one who exhibits grace and mercy, the one who gives us favor. It is to him that we are calling on this afternoon. We bless your name right now. We lift you up and praise you right now because you are deserving of all our praise, all of our gratitude, all of our recognition because it's only through you, through you that we live and breathe and have our being. We ask now, Father, that you would come and be among us that you would sit, that you would be into our thoughts and into our minds, that we would let go of all the mess and all the junk that runs through our heads and that just for a few minutes, concentrate on you, focus on you, open our ears and our hearts to receive, to receive truth. We ask that you would speak through the one who's going to stand now and bring us a word from you, that you would use him, that you would speak through him. Father, just give us what it is that you would have us to have. Uh -huh. And we know that, hey, it's something that's going to take us through yet another week. Hallelujah. We bless you. We praise you. We bless those that are here. Bless those that are watching us through uh, the fiber net, the internet, through YouTube, through all the technology. Uh -huh. We bless each and every one of them as well. It's in the precious name of your son, Yahuwah, that we pray. Amen. Amen. Coming from 
Our scripture text will be coming from the book of Second Chronicles, chapter 7, starting at verse 12. Starting at verse 12. And Yahuwah appeared to, to El Shammai by night and said unto him, I have heard your prayer and have chosen this place to myself for a house of sacrifice. If I shut up heaven and there be no rain, or if I command the locusts to devour the land, or if I send pestilence among my people, if my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray, yes. and seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven, and will forgive their sins, and will heal their land. Now my eyes shall be open, and my ears attend unto the prayer that is made in this place. For now and sacrifice this house that my name may be there forever and my eyes and my heart shall be there perpetually and as for you if you walk before me as David your father walked and do according to all that I have commanded you and shall guard my statues and my judgments then will I establish the throne of your kingdom according as I have covenanted it with David, your father, saying, There shall not fail you a man to be ruler in Yasharel. But if ye turn away and forsake my statutes and my commandments, which I have set before you, and shall go and serve other Elohims and worship them, then will I pluck them up by the roots out of my hand, land, which I have given them. This house, which I have sanctified for my name, will I cast out of my sight, and will make it to be a proverb and a byword among all nations. I have read in your hearing 2 Corinthians, I'm sorry, 2 Chronicles, chapter 7, verse 12 through 19, verse 20. The word of the Yahuwah is blessed at all times. Amen? Amen. Amen. Listen, I'm going to do something that's going to be off the radar, uh, kind of unorthodox. Uh, um, I want to um, do a special prayer um, for those that are uh, in the storm right now um, on the East Coast. Um, um, the hurricane is uh, coming across the waters of Atlantic. Um, I think it's hovering over, um, what is that, the Bahamas? Near Florida. Near Florida. All right, listen. I was looking at the news on this morning and I was kind of disturbed. People were running into uh, the stores and, and they were getting water and um, they're getting milk and bread and things of that nature. And I was kind of disturbed. You say, well, why Why you were disturbed at that? Um, because nobody said, you know what, let's pray. The, um, the disciples got uh, excited about the very works that Yahusha Hamashiach was doing. And they was like, you know, Master, you, you're doing such great work. He said, the work that I'm doing, you will do even greater work. In my name, you will do even greater work. So you wonder why people are not being healed anymore. You wonder why people are not being raised from the dead. It's not the faith. Right. It's not the faith. It's not. It's, not, it's just not that we're not being taught. That's good. What we need to do is rise up as a people. That's good. And we, the Bible says, the reason, and I'm glad that uh, uh, Prophetess read uh, 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 Second Chronicles uh, 14 to 7 because it said, "If my people mm -hmm. who are called by my name, what yes. name, yes. Yahuda, mm -hmm. who are called by my name, would humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn." From from their wicked ways. Good. Then I will hear from heaven. What will they, what will they do? He 
heal the land. So therefore, this is what I need you to do. Those people that are listening today to the service, this is called the set apart hour. So anything is liable to happen within this hour. I'm not just talking about here at Seventh Day Harvest, but I'm talking about where you are, where you may be, where you may be laying in the bedside Baptist, whether you're in your living room, whether you're at the grocery store, wherever you may be, and you're listening to this telecast. Today is the day of change. Yeah. So what needs to happen is that the people of Yahuda and Yahuwah needs to stand up and they need to go to their knees and run back to the safe haven, run back to the shelter. So what I'm telling you on today, I need you to challenge your faith. Mm -hmm. Scripture says that the just shall live by faith. Paul didn't say that first. Paul only repeated what Habakkuk said. The just shall live by faith. So what I'm asking you on today, no matter where you are, where you may be, I'm asking that you would touch and agree. Scripture says whether two or three that are touching and agreeing that he'll be there in the midst. So what we're going to do, we're going to weather the storm. What we're going to do, we're going to rebuke the storm. We're going to turn that storm back out towards the sea. Can I get a witness? So whoever's listening to this uh, a live uh, broadcast today, even before the word comes forth, and there is a word from Yahuwah today. There, uh, repeat, I got to repeat it. There is a word from Yahuwah today, and it's not just this prayer. I'm talking about a word that's going to feed your ruach, your spirit. So on today, I got all the elders. I'm going to ask the elders if they would to come around. Come around, elders. I need you to come around. You know, we're going to come together and we're going to stand on the promises of the Most High. You too, Lady Douglas. You too. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're going to stand on the promises of the Most High today. Hallelujah. And I'm going to ask uh, 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 Elder uh, uh, Chief, if you would, he's going to open his prayer up. He's going to pray. But listen, this is what we're going to do. We're going to rebuke the storm. The storm is going to, all that damage that they say it's going to do, it ain't going to happen. It ain't going to come near Yehuda. It's going to go out back towards the sea. I promise you that. I promise you that. Thus saith the Lord. Thus saith Yahuwah. Elohim. It will go back out. But you got to believe. You got to believe. Hallelujah. What I love about the scripture, scripture says that the woman with the issue of blood, she didn't cry out Jesus. Come on. Come you heard that? That was crickets, wasn't Come it? On. Come on. She didn't cry out no name at all. She pressed her way through the crowd. Yeah. And scripture says that she touched the hem. Yeah. When you look at the original text, it said that he, she touched the fringe uh -huh. of his garment. Uh -huh. So what happens is when, when, when you touch the fringe of his garment, something happens. The virtue leaves. Yeah. And, and, and Yahushua turned around to look and see who touched him. Uh -huh. One of the disciples said, there's a whole lot of people here. How can you know which one has touched you? He said, because the virtue you had left me. So that's the great faith right there. So I'm calling on all of those believers, those blood washed believers, those yeah, ones yeah. that said that they are awakened, even the ones that are in the church. I'm calling on all of you. Yeah. We come together. Scripture says for the two or three that are touching and agreeing yeah. that, that are gathered in his name that he'll be there in the midst. So therefore, we got to make something happen through the name yeah. of Yahushua Hamashiach. Yeah. So I'm going to ask Elder if you would to pray and again, we'll pray with one mind, one ruach, that this storm don't come in, land. It goes out. Hallelujah. 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 Almost high, we give honor to you today. We want to say thank you for what you're getting ready to do. We just want to touch and agree with my brother. We thank you, dear Yah, for the power that you have upon our lives. And as we speak now, Father God, we ask that your spirit would have its way. Let it, let it, let it take a hold to the storm. I, I read one day that one of the disciples was, was as, as Yahshua was in the ship, and a storm come above. And, and as he was in the ship, he was in, in the ship sleeping. And while he was there sleeping, the storm come above and, and the disciples came down and asked him how, how I came to us now and fear came upon the brothers and as they spoke immediately Yeshua woke up and said peace be still and as I speak now I'm just going to say peace be still upon this storm and not only as I speak on the storm I'm speaking on the families that lost their loved ones on yesterday I'm speaking on the ones that are, that are in agreement right now I speak with the power and the authority that Yeshua has blessed
minutes praise and worship uh, and, and, and from there we're going to call uh, the speaker of the hour uh, to speak before you. Yes. Hallelujah!
Teaching Ministries is on air. We're on YouTube. We're on Facebook. And we're having some other social media uh, uh, outlets that we're opening up in the near future. Yes. And so we ask that you will continue to pray for us here at Seventh Day Harvest. Amen. Continue that we will run on and do the will of Yahuwah. Yes. And so at this time, without any further ado, I'm going to introduce the psalm and I'm going to present to others. This young man uh, uh, comes by the way of uh, Greensboro, North Carolina. Um, he has many different outlets and fellowships that he fellowship with uh, yeah. from Atlanta, uh, Atlanta, Georgia, South Carolina, all the way up into Greensboro. Right. And I'm pretty sure he has other places that he fellowship with. Uh, but those are some of the areas that I know already. We met this young man in uh, February at the Great Hebrew Gathering Conference. Uh, February 7th, back seven, February 7th through the 8th, I think, of February. And 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 we loved his Ruach. We loved uh, uh, how he uh, presented himself. He had this transparent Ruach that we just fell in love with. He's easy to talk to. And, and we found out that he loves Yahuwah. Yeah. And I'm excited, y'all. I'm excited. Let's say that country boy is always excited. I'm always smiling. It's the reason why. So at this time, Without any further ado, we're going to call on the Moray, uh, to, if you would, to come. None other than the Archie, uh, uh, Eric Riddick, we're going to ask him to come. So can we slap those hands to you for Yahuwah, for the man of Yah. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Yes, sir! Yes, sir! Love you. Shalom. Yes, sir. Shabbat shalom, family. Shabbat shalom. Uh, uh, I... I'm actually not a Moray. Uh, people are putting that on me. Uh, but uh, all praise to the Most High. Uh, first of all, I want to give honor to my wife who's watching. Uh, Heather, I love you. Uh, to my daughters, Amari and Abaya. Uh, shout out to Boom, Boom Ministry, Believers in One Messiah. Uh, the head of that is William Majors Brown. But, I, but I'm studying under Elder Kevin Waters. Hallelujah. Uh, I'd like to give uh, honor to Rebirth, yeah. uh, to the brother, the Berean brothers down there in Gainesville, Florida. Yeah. Uh, uh, first of all, I want to give a great big thank you to Seventh Day Harvest Ministries. Thank you for having me. Uh, they, like, like he said, we've 
Uh, our, our Ruach's connected from the beginning. Yeah. Uh, we don't even talk every day, but there's an immediate connection. And you know, that a lot of that comes from the DNA. Oh, so, yeah. You know, the Ruach, good, we all good. understand each other. Uh, but what I'm gonna say here, uh, what I'm gonna do in this teaching, I want everybody to be involved in it. Mm -hmm. Because what the word that the Most High has for Right. What you would say is right. just as much for me as it is for you. All right. All right. So if I ask you, please do not hesitate to read a verse. Uh, and and we and, and if you can expound on anything, I'm welcome to receive that. Hallelujah. Uh, we just pray and uh, before we get started, let me just do a prayer. Hallelujah. Thank you, most honorable. Hallelujah. Creator of the heavens and the earth. Yes. Yahuwah, Hallelujah. the Most High. Yes. I come asking you that you endow me with your Ruach HaKadosh. Hallelujah. That you take hold and you take form in whatever's said. Yes. And that whatever's given, that all things be edified to give you glory, honor, yes. Yes. and praise. Yes. Father, I submit myself as a living vessel. And Father, I pray that whomever this needs to be heard, whomever needs the understanding, that your Ruach does the conviction and the teaching yes. and lead them back to their first love. Yes. So we pray these and many other blessings in the name of your son, Yeshua HaMashiach. Hallelujah. 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 Yes, sir. I had a, I, I had a PowerPoint and for some reason, the email didn't come through. But in diligence, the most I saved my history for me, so we're going to go from there. Yes, sir. Where I want to start from is Revelations 2. Good book, sir. All right. All right. Good book. Good and the reason I'm going here. It's because uh, it was said that, uh, you know, we're, we're now, we're approaching the, we're, we're now at the 400 year of our captivity in uh -huh. this nation. Uh, there are a lot of things going around that I've looked on on the internet where there are clashes because they're saying there, there are people saying, well, we was here in Egypt for 400 years. Uh, some of the other nations, brothers that we have in other nations, they're saying things like, well, what's so significant because of the 400 years in America? Well, we were the last ones. Come on, come on, that's right. And that you can tell by the fires in the Amazon, uh -huh. yes. in Europe, in Africa. Yeah that there are signs of the times that we're in right now. That's good, sir. That's right. And we're, we're at a point that what we said, we didn't, I wasn't, nor anybody that I was affiliated with wasn't teaching that, oh, we leaving because it's 400 years. Come on, sir. But our desire is that the judgment began. Mm -hmm. But in that judgment that we're looking at, the judgment starts first Come on, in the house. Come on, sir. Come on. That's good. We got a lot of brothers and sisters that are they're valiant. They're, you know, we got our camp brothers that's out in the streets. They got they got aggression. Yeah. They got zeal. Yeah. They got fortitude. Uh -huh, right. Then we got brothers that's on the internet. They got passion, yeah. zeal, uh -huh. fortitude. Uh -huh. Everybody's talking about the law, uh -huh. the letter. Uh -huh. Everybody understands custom, mm -hmm. culture. Uh -huh. But then when I read in Revelations 2, and uh, let me go here. And uh, because what it is, is he said in there, there was in a particular sense, he said, I know thy works. Mm 
Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And I know you hate those that say they are Israel, that they are Jews and not Jews. Mm -hmm. uh, let me find that scripture. You know that scripture? Two and nine. Two and nine. Two and nine. Uh -huh. Go ahead and read that for me. It says, I know your works and tribulation and poverty, but you are rich. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Yahudim or Yahuda or Jew and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Go down to 10 for me. Fear none of those things which you shall suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, mm -hmm. that ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation 10 days. Be faithful unto death, and I will give you a crown of life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There is a verse also where he said, uh, let me go here. Hold on one second. Hallelujah. Two and four. Read that. Two and four. Yes. Revelation. Yes, sir. Two and four. Nevertheless, I have this against you, mm -hmm. that you have left your first love. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, what is the first love? Oh, that's good. Wow, that's good. Yeah, sure. Then I shall love the commandments. Then I shall love like Yahuwah with all my heart, all my mind, all my soul. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Now, the thing is, in that, there was a humbling being put in place. Yes, sir. All right. A lot of our brothers and sisters are not humble. That's right. Mm -hmm. right. Hamashiach told us that if you don't come as a child, uh -huh. that, that you cannot inherit the kingdom yes, of heaven. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Wow. Because we were all once lost. That's good. That's right. That's yes, good. Sir. Until he dropped the truth on us. That's right. good. All right. And as I got to thinking about it, I said, well, how do we, how do we get to that point? Uh -huh. How do we get to the point, how do we get back, how do we get back to the point where we are ready to receive? Come on. And as I was, I was talking to a brother, me and a brother, me and one of the ox, we was talking, mm -hmm. and I said that, uh, until we understand the humility uh -huh. in this wall, there is no kingdom for us. Oh, that's good. That's good, wow. sir. Because Hamashiach said you got to be able to lose your life. That's good. In order to gain your that's life. That's good, sir. All right. And some of us, we're ready to gain, but we're not ready to lose. Come on, come on, come on. That's a good word, sir. And I, I was looking for an example. I was talking to a brother. I was, I was looking for an example that where, how do you come to yourself? And I went to the prodigal son. Mm. That's good. Mm -hmm. That's good. That's mm -hmm. right. And uh, if you go with me to Luke 15. Mm -hmm. That's good. That's good stuff. And anybody that wants to volunteer, if you would read Luke 15, 11 to 31. Or well, I'll read it, whoever, doesn't matter. Because like I said, I won't, because understanding this, uh -huh. I can say whatever, but it's not gonna mean anything until it comes out of your mouth. Amen. And he said, a certain man had two sons. Yes. And the younger of them said to his father, Father, give me the portion of goods that falls to me. Mm -hmm. And he divided unto them his living. Mm -hmm. And not many days after the young, younger son gathered all together and took his journey into a far country and there wasted his substance with riotous living. Hold on one second. Stop right there. Yes, sir. Now, a lot of us 
we get this truth. Come on, sir. And we go out, riotous on, living. Come on, sir. We go out. Hey, you look like the church. Hey, why y'all singing? That's church. Uh huh. Come on, sir. Why? Why you praying the way that you do? Come on, sir. Why you fellowshipping with them? Come on, sir. Why you talking to them? Oh man, if they don't get this, that's it. Come I don't on. have no patience Come for on, those sir. in the church. Come on, sir. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Go ahead and tell you reading now. Wow. 14th verse. And when he had spent all, there arose a mighty famine in that land. Mm -hmm. And he began to be in want. Mm -hmm. And he went and journeyed or joined himself to a citizen of that country. Mm -hmm. And he sent him into a, his fields to feed swine. Hold on. Hold on right there. All right. I remember another story where there was a famine. Mm -hmm. Come on. See, this is the thing about the living word. Come on, sir. It prophesies itself. Come on. All the way down. Yes, sir. Because, see, there was a famine uh -huh. when Joseph went into yes, Egypt. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Make it plain, sir. But Joseph wound up there because there was evil done from him from his own brethren. Yes, that's right. good, sir. That's right. His brothers were jealous of him because his father had embraced him because his father loved Joseph's mother. Come on, sir. Right. Come on. Come on. See, that's a hard pill to swallow because yes, even though we can say, I'm Yahudim, uh -huh. I'm of the tribe of Judah, uh -huh. I'm of Levi, uh -huh. I'm of Simeon, uh -huh. but Jacob didn't want your mama. Oh! Oh, that's good, sir. Wow. That's good. He did the work for Rebecca. Come on. That's what his love was. Come on, sir. His father-in-law gave him Layla. You talking good. Layla was sent herself because she was put in position and she said, how can I make him love me? Come on, sir. She started having the first child. What she did. Jacob still didn't love her. Come on, sir. She had another son. Come on, sir. Jacob still didn't love her. Come on, sir. She had a third son. Yeah. Jacob still didn't love her. Yes, sir. But then she had a fourth son. Uh -huh. And by this time, she was tired. Uh -huh. And she said, I'm going to change my altitude of where I'm doing my love for. Come so I'm going to name this child Judah ah! because he will forever give you praise. Ah! See, she turned hey. her love and her desire oh, yeah. where it should have been in the first place because she knew before her dad sent her in there that Jacob did not love her. She knew it when she saw Jacob working in that field for Levin that Jacob was working for Rebecca. Yeah. God, don't lie. Continue reading, Elvis. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, 16th verse. Hot to play. And he, and he wants somebody else to read. And he would wait. Have filled his belly with the husk that the swine did eat. Mm. And no man gave unto him. Mm. 17. And when he came to himself. Hold up. <laughs> there was another person that came to themselves. Y'all hold your place there and go with me to Jonah, mm -hmm. chapter 2. Mm -hmm. Man. <laughs> Jonah chapter 2. Jonah chapter 2. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm going to read that mm -hmm. uh, because this is uh, significant. Oh. We all know the story of Jonah. Mm -hmm. The Most High gave Jonah a task. Yes, he did. And Jonah didn't want to do it. No, he didn't. Jonah was worried about everything but what the Father told him Come to do. Come on here, sir. And when you get there, just just signify and say hallelujah or amen. Hallelujah. hallelujah. And I'm going to start with 
the first verse, and it says, Then Jonah prayed unto the Most High, his Elohim, out of the fish's belly. Because he was already, because he disobeyed. Yeah. He was thrown, he was jumped on the fisherman's ship. They was like, man, what's going on, man? It's, it's going. He said, yo, it's me. In order for this stop to stop, y'all gonna have to throw me overboard. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So they threw him overboard, and then a big fish came and swallowed up Jonah. That's what I said. And Jonah's, Jonah's in the midst of his, his what he's been captured by. Yes, sir. It's his disobedience. Come on, sir. Come yes, on. Come. His disobedience. So then it says, then Jonah prayed uh -huh. unto the Most High, his Elohim, out of the fish's belly. Uh -huh. And he said, I cried by reason of my affliction yes, sir. unto the Most High. Uh -huh. yes, sir. And he heard me, and out of the belly of hell cried I. Yes, sir. And thou heardest my voice. Yes, sir. For thou hast cast me into the deep. Uh -huh. And in the midst of the seas, yes, and in the f in, in, and the floods compassed me about, mm -hmm. all thy billows and thy waves passed over me. Yes, sir. Then I said, I am cast out of thy sight. Yes, sir. Yet I will look again toward thy holy temple. Come on, sir. The waters compassed me about even to the soul. Yes, sir. The depth closed me around about. The weeds were wrapped about about my head. Yeah. I went down to the bottoms of the mountains, uh -huh. and the earth with her bars was about me forever. Yes, sir. Yet hast thou brought up my life from corruption. Come on. Oh, Yahuwah, my Elohim. Yes, sir. When my soul fainted uh -huh. within me, yes, sir. I remembered the Most High. Yes, sir. And the, my prayer came unto thee, yes. into thy holy temple. Yes, sir. And they that observe lying vanities forsake their own mercy. Come but on. I will sacrifice yes, sir. unto thee with the voice of thanksgiving. Yes, I will pay that that I have owed thou. Uh -huh. Salvation is of the of Yahuwah. Yes, sir. And the Yahuwah spake unto the fish yes, sir. and it vomited out Jonah yes, sir. upon the dry land. Yes, sir. He came to himself. He came to himself. Yes, he did. He came to himself. Yes, sir. He understood that though there were circumstances ah. that compassed him, he, he described the drama that was uh -huh. going on. Come on, sir. But once he got to an understanding yeah. that it was because of him, Come on, yeah. sir. that's where he stayed. Yes, sir. And then he humbled himself and prayed. Let's go there. Where do you hear that at? <laughs> if my people hey. who are called by my name yes, would humble themselves on, sir. and turn from their wicked yes, ways sir. Yes, sir. and seek my faith, yes, then and, and you yes, better go to he'll heal the man. He'll heal it. What I'm telling you, brothers and sisters, Ooh. the captivity has nothing to do with Edom. Not at all. It has nothing to do with Rome. Not at all. It has nothing to do with Christianity. Not at all. It has nothing to do with your neighbor. Not at all. But Israel sinned. Come on, sir. And because you dropped the mantle. Come on, sir. Now you're in the mess that you're in. You're talking yeah. already. Yeah. My, my. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You talking good, sir. My, my. Yes, sir. Guess who else dropped the man? Come on, sir. Come on. Adam. Uh-huh. Dropped the man. Yes, sir. Because he was put in the garden. Yes, sir. And he was over everything. Everything. But yet, off of one thing. Come on, sir. He slipped. Come on, sir. But what happened was when it was time to own up responsibility, yeah, yeah, yeah. he blamed it on the one who Ooh. gave him the power in the first place to overcome. Come on, sir. Then Cain stopped in line. Come on, yeah. sir. Cain was mad because you you accept Abel's offering, and yet you don't like mine. And he says, Cain. 
sin is at the door. Come on, son! And if you don't rule over it, his desire is to take over you. Cain dropped the baton on, and rose up and killed Abel. That's good. We can talk about Uncle Esau. Uh -huh. He did not value the blessing that was over him. Yeah. He sold it for a soup. Come on, yeah. So he gave it away. He is but because Jacob desired it, the Most High had already started engraving because the prophecy was already given to his mother that the, the, the younger would move, rule over the older. Uh -huh. But the custom was that the older should always rule over the inheritance of the father. Right. But the mother knew the plan. But Jacob was a trickster and said, on, I want what you got. Come on, sir. <laughs> Boy, you teaching in here. Oh, man. You teaching, sir. <coughs> teaching good. That's good stuff. <laughs> what am I drinking? Hurts. <laughs> Let's go back to uh, the prodigal son because right. there's a message in there. Yes, sir. There's a message in there. <laughs> mm -hmm. Wow. Yes, sir. Can't get up with it. good, bro. Yes, I'll start with the 18th verse because this, 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 this word. It, it gave me joy in myself. Uh -huh. uh, back to Luke 15. Right. We're going back to the 18th verse. Okay. Hey, go ahead and read the 18th verse. Whoever want to read it. I will arise and go to my father. Uh -huh. And will say unto him, Father, I have sinned against heaven. Yes, sir. And before you. See? That's what Adam, that's all Adam had to do. Yep. Yep. Even with Cain. Cain said, am I my brother's keeper? He said, well, Cain, Abel's blood cries out uh -huh. from the earth. Yes, sir. That's right. Yes, sir. If Cain would say, I, I, I let it get the best of me. Right. That's, right. that's right. Sometimes you just got to take ownership. I let it get the best of me. I, got oh. I let this letter get the best of me. Oh, I got it. Yeah. Yes, sir. Because Hamashiach, he is the door. He yes, is sir. the light. Yeah, yeah, but he yeah. said he came for the kingdom of the Father. Come on, come on. Because he said, seek ye first the kingdom of the Father, and all things shall be added. So if your business is seeking the Father, then all things will be added. Then you can walk in the power. Because see, once you get Yeshua, he gave you a promise. He said, then I shall send a comforter and he shall lead you into all truth. And in that, you found out that that comforter, that same spirit was the spirit that gave Moses the commandments that we live by. But let me tell you this, the commandment was already in order because Abraham kept the commandments. Come on, sir. How did Adam know when the father put on the, the animal skin on him? Uh -huh. What was the father taking an animal and killing him for? That was the sacrifice. Come on, sir! That's right. That's right. Hamashiach is the sacrifice. Yeah. And so through him, we are able to go back and then we understand the spirit of the law. And that's why, because Paul said he knew the law. There he is. He was a Greek of the Greeks. There he is. But once he came into contact with Hamashiach, Come on, sir. that he said all those things didn't mean anything anymore because it didn't come because he understood that there was a spirit. So now it wasn't burdensome to keep the law because now he said, I love the law. I must keep the feast come on, here, because come on. there is an inheritance that's been given unto that's me. Right. And I can't drop this baton no more. Yes. I can't go back and act like I didn't hear it yes. because he said it's as a dog returning to his own vomit. Yes, and if you want to lay in your own vomit, it's best that you took a millstone and threw yourself in the depths of the sea. Wow. That means we have to be humble. Wow. That's good stuff. You're called to be priest. Yes, sir. You are a priest, a royal priesthood. It's in the word. 
It's in your word. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. I'm drunk already. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, that gets to the next point <laughs> of where we're at right now. Yes, sir. Make right now we're at Isaiah 44 and this is going to tell us where we're at right now I got that same book <laughs> and I don't have the tab so I understand <laughs> Isaiah 44 and one and one All right. because now we're now we're going to speak to the era that we're in because <clears throat> when we start reading it it'll start to make sense yeah, yeah. go ahead go ahead though. get now here oh Yaku, mm -hmm. my servant, mm -hmm. and Yasharel, whom I have chosen. Mm -hmm. Thus says Yahuwah that made you mm -hmm. and formed you from the womb, mm -hmm. which will help you. Fear not, O Yaku. Oh. Mm -hmm. My servant and you, mm -hmm. Yasharel, mm -hmm. Yasharon, mm -hmm. whom I have chosen, mm -hmm. for I will pour water upon him that is thirsty. Talk right there. There was somebody else that was thirsty. Oh my! Mess me up, sir. <laughs> the woman at the well. Yes, sir. She was thirsty. Yes, Come on, was. sir. But yet she didn't know what well to drink from. Come on, come on. Israel, you need to understand what well to drink from. <laughs> you talking good, sir? Because that's the evidence. That's where the back. The, emer the emergence that's right. because that's the symbolism of going down. Yes, sir. Coming back up. Yes, sir. All things passed away. Behold, all things become new because we were divorced. The Most High divorced us. Yes, he did. That's good, he divorced us. Yes, he did. He said, keep your feast day. Come on, sir. Come on. Keep your prayer. Keep keep all that. Matter of fact, go to them gods you were serving. Go to Baal and tell them to help you. Go to Molech and tell them to help you. Why? Because Israel is doing what their fathers did. Yes, sir. Come on. Yes, sir. We refused to take responsibility. We dig and dabble. We cheated. Yes, we did. Matter of fact, Most High had to tell the prophet to marry a prostitute yes, so right. that he could understand how he felt oh, Israel was doing him. Yes, sir. For all you old school players and pimps, oh, it's just like that girlfriend or that wife that's telling you, I'm sick of you doing me wrong. I'm sick of you in them streets. You're always messing, then you're coming back with stuff. Just leave me alone. You talking Don't good. bring it to me. Hey. You talking good, sir. Hey. If you can't leave wow. your stuff <laughs> alone, <laughs> you can't get in the kingdom. Yes, sir. Because a priest didn't walk around saying, who the hell are you? Yeah. You going here, rah, rah, rah. What happened to you are the potter uh, and I am the clay? Yes, sir! What happened to the valley, the valley of Jehoshaphat? Come he on. didn't tell them to go out and fight. He said, send Judah. Whoop. Yes, he did. Yes, sir! Judah, the praise and worship of St. Judah. <laughs> and not only did the, pra the praise evoke the presence of the most, that's what he's trying to tell you. That's what David was saying in the song. He got a revelation of why he was able to slay a giant with a rock, why he was being anointed with oil, why he could play the music with such a desire. Because he came from the seed. Woo! Of the man that the woman dedicated 
to serve come and give praise to the Lord. Come on here, sir. Come yeah. on, you talking good. Teaching. The praise really is the weapon. Yes, sir. Because in your praise, you are evoking the presence. Hallelujah. So you don't have to go up there and declare, I am Israel. Come I am here. this. I'm Judah. I'm Levi. I am this. I know the paleo. I know the modern. I know the Greek. I know all this. Come on here, sir. But yeah, he said, but Hamashiach said, these signs shall follow. Wow. Oh my God. Where are your signs? You got the letter. You got the Cephas. You got the scriptures. You got the 1611. You got the coordinates. But where is your power? Come on. Come on. <laughs> you seek status. Now you say something right there. Come on. There was word where he said that what you do secretly, I will reward you openly. He said it. So if I don't have a hundred thousand followers, I've done my job. If I can't get you to like my Twitter page, I've done my job. Yes, sir. Because what did he say? If they don't get it, when he told the apostle, if they don't get it, shake the dust off your feet. Leave your shalom and take it with you. It's not your job to convince them. 